Throughout the day, over 5,000 people came out to celebrate the 40-year anniversary of Earth Day. It's hard to imagine it's only the second year of the event. Of all the cities in the country, last year when we realized there wasn't a huge event, it didn't make sense for Boulder not to be celebrating Earth Day. The festival included more than 100 informational and interactive booths for both adults and kids. We really wanted to make it interactive for attendees, so they weren't just walking around grabbing free samples. It's about learning and educating, and I think we definitely accomplished that. Some of the activities offered were a live band, rock climbing, and slackline gymnastics. But electrically restored cars were also on display. Because we're recycling cars, uh, we're zero emissions. Uh, the kinds of people that we want to attract, you know, we have the shared values. Uh, so this is this is a perfect demographic. You know? Besides just learning about going green, some were rewarded for their actions as well. I went around and I sang songs for people to thank them for being nice to the planet. I said, what have you done for the planet today? And they tell me and I say, well then let me write a song for that. But the event wasn't just for people. All kinds of animals could enjoy the festival too, including adorable little puppies. So whether you come out to Earth Day to learn about the environment or just to play with cute puppies, there's guaranteed to be something for everyone. Leslie Fox, News Team Boulder.